What's good, everybody? My name is Mateo Toro. I am a cinematographer. If you're a working cinematographer just like me, you probably have owned a bunch of camera bags, a bunch of small Pelican cases, maybe you even own a cinema style camera bag where you can fit a fully rigged cinema camera right into the bag. And you're growing in your filmmaking journey, your production's getting bigger. So now you find yourself just having a ton of camera cases and bags on set when you're filming. And it just becomes a hard thing to transport and spend time onloading and offloading. So eventually that's what made me to create this video is to show you the system that I'm currently using. I have a Sony FX6, I have an Alpha camera, I have a bunch of accessories and they were all just in different Pelican cases and camera bags. And now I have a system where it all fits into one. So this is the Pelican 1650 with the track pack divider system and the lid organizer. The reason I decided to go with the Pelican 1650 is because it's the biggest Pelican case Pelican offers that still allows you to use the track pack divider system. So I actually bought this case used because brand new this whole system without the lid organizer is $550. I bought the case used for $100 which was a steal and then I bought the track pack and the lid organizer separately. I'll have everything linked below in the description box. So if you're looking for a deal search online on Craigslist or a marketplace you might be able to find the case maybe even with a track pack divider system for a really great price. So this 1635 with the track pack system I feel like it's about two 1510s with the track packs divider system. I own a couple 1510s and just because of how deep this Pelican case is with the track pack, I just am able to store almost everything that my production assistant or first AC would need to look for in just one case. So everything is streamlined, it's organized and we all know where everything is. So let's get started. So starting off this section right here, what I always like to carry on all of my camera bags or Pelican cases is a Think Tank little cable management bag. So in here I have all types of different USB-C chargers, USB-A chargers, uh, some small bungo ties, and then I also carry inside of it a bunch of AA and AAA batteries fully charged every single time we go on set. You just always wanna have backup batteries. Here I have a DD3 Pro microphone that connects to my Sony Alpha camera that I'm using, either the FX3 or the Sony A7R5 that I'm using right now. So that goes right here. I have a dust blower. I have the legs for the DJI RS3 Pro. I have the battery for the DJI RS3 Pro. I have my Nisi VND True Color. And here I have my Sony FX6 top handle with my Sanken CSM1 already attached. It has XLR cable, so it fits nicely right in here with the drop of a dime. I'm able to just take it out and then connect it to my FX6. And then I also have an eye footage spare um, crab arm that I always like to keep a second one on hand. So right here is the baby, the workhorse, the one that makes the money. This is the Sony FX6. I just upgraded my cage system. I now have the Bright Tangerine Left Field 3 system. Absolutely love the quality of the top plate, the base plate. I have to get a dovetail. I have a wooden camera V-mount plate attached to it and the side handle. So all that fits nice and tight. So that's really what I like about the track pack system. It's deep and I can fit all this of the FX6 and just have to attach the top panel and I'm pretty much production ready. I also have the Bright Tangerine uh, side cheese plate in there. So moving on here, I have three lens uh, little pockets. I have the Sony 2470 G Master 2, fits nice and snug right here. I have the Sony 7200 GM2, fits nice and tall right here. Then I have another lens pocket right here for the 24 millimeter 1.4. And then all of them, I fit them a certain way where I can also fit like my anamorphic lenses right behind me. So they're pretty big and they're really, really deep. So any type of tall lens kind of fits in them. This front pocket right here, I am grabbing my V-mount battery. So this is my Hypercore 150, my Anton Bauer 150, and then I also have the Anton Bauer base plate uh, battery for the Sony Alpha cameras. So power solution is always ready to go. And then I also have two Core SWX um, BPU batteries that I throw in there for the FX6 as well. So I have a ton of plenty of battery solutions and backups in case for some reason something is missing or we all just run out of power which never really happens here i have a top handle for my fx3 or my a7r5 uh, to go on the tilted cage this bag right here is my atomos shinobi seven inch so i have a little sleeve for it and it fits just perfectly on top of everything right there so it's protected and not being uh stored on top of a lot of things i have my technical track e system for time code if you don't have time code yet, absolutely recommend it. It will change your workflow. You'll have so much more productivity when you're uh, syncing in post. I have a pair of monitor headphones. 
And then I have this big Porter Brace clear bag with three 15 foot XLR cables because again, you need redundancy, you need to have backups in case one of them doesn't work, one of them breaks, whatever the case is. And then I also have my Zoom F6 32 bit flow field recorder. So all my audio essentials and just a little bit of extra accessories kind of just go perfectly in that um, compartment right there, as you can see. And this is why I love how big this uh, case is because as you can see right here, what I'm reaching for, I have 12 inch 15 millimeter rods with the Tilta 15 millimeter base plate for my FX3 or A7R5. And then I also have a small V-mount plate um, from Tilta, pop a V-mount, slide my FX3 or A7R5 right onto this, and then I pretty much have a perfect ready to go B cam, and I don't have to break anything down. That's what I love about how big this case is. Here I have some adapter rings for my mat box. Here I have another pouch that has my backup B monitor, the Adam Shinobi 5 inch. I have an Aperture MC. I want to get the MC Pros really soon. Aperture, if you're watching. <laughs> I have my small rig mat box, handy dandy. And then let's see what else I got in here. I have two Nanlite 6C Pablo tubes. And then I also have just a ball head from Joby for a B cam on a small tripod for behind the scenes or something like that. And in this section right here, I can put both my a FX3 and my A7R5 right into this slot right here. This pouch right here, they all have labels. I just use pen and a small little label sticker. Um, this is for my Easy Rig accessories, for my Easy Rig Minimax. So I have my Kong Frog uh, carabiner, and then I have extra shoulder bolts, um, one three eighths and one one quarter, just so if I, again, if I lose anything, I have a different way of mounting to my Easy Rig, and I also have spare bolts. Up here, this is my compartment for my XLR microphone. So my XLR microphone is a Sankin CSM-1, highly recommend it. So I have another small, uh, whoops, I have another small XLR cable. Again, you just wanna have extra backups. I have my little fur screen for when I'm filming indoors. I have some rubber space tubers for the FX6 microphone holder because again, it's only designed that terribly. And then I also have some boom pull accessory clips and just some spare uh, three and a half millimeter, three and a half millimeter cables uh, for whatever microphone I'm using that goes onto the Alpha cameras. Right here I have dummy batteries. So I have a Anton Bauer dummy battery for the Sony Alpha cameras that connects to DTAP. I have a DTAP battery to M Sony MP for the monitor so I could just power off of DTAP. Here I have my Sony Alpha batteries. I have five of them. Uh, plenty, plenty of battery solution even on top of the Titan base that I have for the Alpha cameras. So you just always wanna have backups. This compartment right here, it's for all my lav mic accessories. So I have the Sankin Cos 11D and Countryman B3 lav mics. Um, so I have stickies, I have double-sided tape, I have a waist Velcro pouch, a hip Velcro pouch, um, just different type of accessories so you can mount a lav mic onto a subject depending on what you're filming and what the subject is. Here I have more lav mic accessories. Instead of just stickies, I have a backup cheap road lav mic that if it's not my countryman b3 or my sinking i have a couple concealers i have some clips and some windscreens so just little lav mic accessories that you're always going to come in contact that you need on set here I have a ton of sdi cables and hdmi cables i love the alvin cables i'll have them linked below because they're all right angle and i just leave these little clear protective cases to just protect them a little bit more and then I have SDI cables from Alvin's cable as well. I have one and a half foot, three foot. Always have got our spares. Here I have monitor arms and just more little base plates. Um, so just different ways of mounting the monitor. I like this one a lot, actually. This is the Falcom uh, F22 quick release um, system. Really great, really compact, and has been my favorite so far that I've purchased and I have a couple bongo ties and I also have a few spray cable management ties for the cages. Here I have a bunch of step up rings and step down rings for when I'm using filters and then I gotta screw them on. That way every lens can still work with one size of filters, which is 82 millimeters. Here I have just simple gaff tape and also a forehead light, lamp light. Where if we're filming in the dark or we're breaking down, we can just kind of be able to see 
if we're in a small lit environment. Here I have Sony MP batteries in case I'm not using the dummy batteries to power the monitors or the Zoom F6. I have two always fully charged every time we go on production. And then I have a long USB cable just sitting there. And then here I have my Pelican case for my memory cards, SD cards, CF Express Type A cards. I have a microfiber little towel. I have a air tag in case this gets lost. And then I have a bunch of uh, lens wipes. As you can see in this one Pelican 1650, I'm able to carry my entire essential camera package for my A cam, which is my FX6 and my B cam or my C cam, Sony A7 or 5 And I actually forgot to show, in this pocket right here, still on the bottom, I have a couple 15 millimeter rods, 12 inch. So these are from Small Rig, if you're looking for some affordable ones, uh, really cheap. And then these are the drumsticks from Bright Tangerine for my FX6. These are titanium and you can really screw on follow focuses or map boxes and it won't slide or, or, or start to just lose a little bit of tension. Um, that's why you pay for quality. But again, this is a way of streamlining everything. I don't have to go around and look at different cases, have my AC or my production assistant try to find things. Everything that we kind of essentially need on day of for prepping our cameras is kind of just right here, ready to go. And then all of my, like I said, my other Pelican and new cases, I'm gonna turn those into charging stations. I'm gonna just carry different accessories that now can have a dedicated case and be protected. That's what's gonna be great about that now. So Pelican 1650 track pack divider system and lid organizer. If you're searching for less bags and less cases to carry on your next project, check this system out. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions about anything, it'll be, just feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Everything I talked about in this video will be linked in the description box below. So see you all in the next one. Peace.